Hey, survivors. I was watching a video by Grant Spartan, and he had something like this, connecting sections of his base. So it's a bulletproof, bulletproof glass uh, window tunnel with a base of uh, concrete plates uh, supported by some pillars. Now, there's actually some difference between um, this and what he was doing, but uh, this is basically it. Now, there is a small problem with this. Um, to show that, let's jump to um, to play test here. Um, so it's going to lo load that thing I had created into a world. Um, there it is. Turn here the bug and creative and get rid of the things I have. I'm gonna get a bulletproof glass plate and I'm going to get um, one of these. Oops, let's fly. So here's the problem. didn't even have to place a block. It doesn't have enough structural integrity. Now, as I said, that was not exactly what the guy, uh, what the guy, what Grand Spartan had. Um, and if you're not aware, Grand Spartan is a YouTube streamer. Uh, he both streams on YouTube and has videos on YouTube. Um, he has the most amazing bases. Um, truly, um, it's their spectacular so let's replace the blocks here on the corner with a steel block so let me copy rotation then place the blocks here you probably wish you could do this on, on inside the game don't you okay so now we have steel blocks uh, at the top of the, the pillar so it should be good right uh, let's save this and return to play test. <laughs> and we have a visitor. This creative should be enough. Let's come here and do this again. Nope, not enough. All right, so this is the, um, the reason for this video. I want to talk about structure integrity, but I'm going to show something different because uh, as you've seen on that, uh, as you have seen on, on in this structure, it's uh, more complex than you usually see, right? Um, most of the um, videos about uh, structure integrity, and there are some very good videos out there, um, they just look at this, right? So mass 10, horizontal support 120, uh, divide uh, 120 by 10, you have 12. So a concrete block supports 12 blocks. Uh, as two blocks, 20 and three, uh, 300, divide one by the other, you have 15. So support 15 blocks. Um, but I mean, this is a, these are many different blocks. Uh, and you have two pillars uh, and it, it's more complex, right? So I want you, I want to help you figure out uh, this kind of structure. Um, I'm going to use a concept of budget. So let me do a little bit of editing here on this to simplify, and we're going to look at this again. So see you in a little bit. And by the power of editing, I'm here. So uh, what I did is uh, took out the corners of the well, well, the two other uh, sections um, because it helps to 
if as if this I have here can uh, can stand on its own, then if you add other sections, it's going to stand on its own. Now there are four blocks uh, in between uh, each pillar, so I have two on each side, and this is going to be like it's it's enough, right? Because uh, um, this is the exact center between those two. So uh, if I if I were to recreate that, um, could do it like this. Uh, copy from here to um, to here, and just grab this here. So we have this section, and now I'm going to now. Uh, this is too too big on one side. It's, it's sometimes impossible to see. Okay, so we have this section here, so I can simply uh, 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 move it uh, to the side. Why did they have to choose blue, right? Uh, paste it and there, there, there you go and do the same thing on the other side and that's exactly the same structure I had before so just remove that and let's look at this um, so if you haven't heard about structure integrity and you're getting to this video uh, to start with that let's see look into this again so each block has a mass and a horizontal support. They also have this vertical support, but uh, for construction blocks, uh, they all need vertical support. Um, you, you can ignore that. Decoration might not have vertical support, but you're not going to build something on the decoration uh, if for no other reason because they don't have vertical support. So horizontal support and horizontal support sometimes is vertical as well. Um, what does that mean? Uh, say we, we have the, the lone block here. Uh, let's place it up here. Okay. So this block weights 10, 10 units, right? And horizontal support means that on each face, it can hold up to 120 minutes up uh, units. So there are four faces, we can hold up to uh, uh, 480. And actually, there is this face as well, and this counts, right? Um, there is the, the, this concept of pillar, or um, they, in the game they call it um, the glue or, or something like that. So if a block is connected to the ground vertically, so it goes vertically from the top to the ground like this, then this is fully supported. It doesn't count, right? Uh, on each side, every one of these blocks on each side can support this much, 120. So this side can support 120 and right now it's supporting 10. So I can place up to 12 blocks here, right? Uh, so I can like do four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there are 12 blocks here and this is fully supported. If I were to place another block, then it will fall not in the prefab editor, which is where I am, but if I went to the game, this would fall at this point. Um, and this here is an interesting point because um, uh, these 12 blocks, they could be like this as well, right? So they can go up, right? Uh, the horizontal support is basically on these guys here because on top of it is fully supported, and on bottom of it, well, that's connected to the ground. So horizontally, it supports that much, 
but it it can go up on the other on the other directions. Uh, that becomes important if you have different types of block. Uh, so let's uh, I do have here the bulletproof plate. Um, let's replace. I'm gonna copy rotation here. Uh, gonna replace. I'm gonna remove these three blocks. I'm gonna place them here. That's fine. Except I'm gonna come and replace these blocks here with glass. So the bulletproof glass has a mass of 10 as well, but the horizontal support is half. It's only 60. And this bulletproof glass is going up. And, and that counts. So all of these are bulletproof glasses. So the support that you have here is limited to 60, which is the support from the bulletproof glass plate. But that's probably uh, already getting uh, really complicated. So let's remove this thing here. Uh, but these are the basics of the, or, uh, of the structure integrity, right? But then you get to a structure like this, and you have something here, and you have something here, and this is uh, steel, so it supports 300, but then you have concrete here, and that supports 120, and then it goes up, and you have concrete here, and you have bulletproof glass here, and it keeps going up here, and this guy here uh, should not exist. And it goes up and around, and is the support coming from here or from here? And uh, how does this work? And uh, we know that this doesn't work. It failed because if we, when I had even more support, uh, it failed. So this does not uh, work. So here's the concept I want you to get, which is the concept of the budget. Uh, this steel corner round has a horizontal support of 300. And you have two steel blocks here, and each one of them has one side connected to the rest of the structure. So you add these. So 300 here, 300 here, that's a total of 600. That means the rest of this can have up to 600 of mass, or otherwise it's going to fall to the ground, like you saw. Now, we have here uh, five concrete blocks. We have here one, two, three, four, five concrete blocks as well. So five below, five here, uh, or a total of 10 concrete blocks. Um, Oh, let's even ignore uh, concrete or bulletproof. Bulletproof uh, weights 10, concrete weights 10. The full block of concrete weights 10 as well. They are all 10. So let's ignore this concrete or glass. They all weigh 10. We have five blocks below here. And then we have this tunnel. Uh, this tunnel is five blocks uh, uh, in length. Um, three blocks high. So it has a total of one, two, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. The center is empty, so no blocks there. So you have eight blocks in each part of it, and there are five parts. So eight times five is 40. So 40 blocks here, plus five blocks here, 45. And uh, times 10, because all these blocks weight 10, 450. So at this point, you might think, well, it should not have collapsed then, right? I have 600 budget and I have 550 mass, so it should be supported. Well, not really. Uh, the problem is this guy here and this guy here. So you see, 
let's let's look at this again. Let's look at this again. Um, let's uh, let's actually remove this block here. I should have copied rotation. Oh, whatever. Let's remove these two blocks. Uh, yeah, let's let's remove all of this. Right, and let's say I have this guy here supported from below. Right. So instead of having a steel block on the side, this block itself is fully supported. Now, it has a side, and this side is uh, has a support of 120, and this side has a support of 120. That's a total of 240. Now, that structure, the whole structure, including these two blocks, weighted 450. These two blocks don't count anymore, so the structure weights um, 430, and it's supported by 240. Well, that's the problem. Now, you see, as soon as you, uh, as as you go and and change. Um, As you go through the blocks, as you go through the blocks, and and connect to different pieces of whatever is being supported, uh, each block. Uh, imposes its own horizontal support. So this, the whole structure in the center is connected through the concrete block. So despite the fact that I have 600 support on the sides, when it comes to the middle, the support is under 240. And the budget calculation that I want you guys to to learn to, uh, uh, I won't say make this easier, but make it more predictable. So you have a technique that where you can predict what's happening. Uh, what you have to do is this. Um, I have 600 support here, fine. So 600 support, uh, let's disappear with this stuff here. Let's disappear with this stuff. So 600 supporting this uh, connected here and here. Uh, maybe not disappear. Let's put it back. OK. So 600 support here connected for here. Now, this guy here, it has 300 support, right? It's connected to here. It has 300 support. So from this 300, it subtracts its own mass, 10. So I have 290 block of mass left. And it's using that mass on a single side, providing to that single side 120 mass. So the budget, the, it can provide 120 mass. It's within the 300 budget on the sides. But the budget available for the middle is 120 plus 120. It doesn't matter if these guys here are, uh, I think it's on the wrong side. Uh, it doesn't matter if these guys here are providing 600. Uh, you can only get 120 to each side. Now, have 120 plus 120 plus 10 plus 10, uh, that's 260. 260 is within the budget of 600, right? 250 is within 600. 
but the 240 that remains to the middle is not enough for the rest of the structure. Now, there are many ways in, in, in which I can change this to make it work. So let's um, let's come here. Uh, I'm gonna update bounds here, and then I'm gonna save, and then I'm going to come here and play test, and we're gonna see this this thing collapse, and then we are gonna fix it using this budget concept. Come here, uh, let's turn this on. Uh, let's get this, this guy here. Right, so destroy one block. Okay. That definitely doesn't work as we expected. Uh, we're gonna go back to the editor and uh, think about this. Well, we we know that the center has a budget of 240, right? So uh, 120 on each side. So the center has 240. And it's actually waiting 430. So let's let's say we remove some of it. Okay. So this is three by five. Three by five, fifteen uh, times ten removed. We are now from down from four hundred thirty. Minus uh, 150, that's uh, 330, 280. Yes, 280. Well, that's still above uh, 400, uh, 240. So we need to remove 40 more. So let's remove four blocks here. All right. So we are now we now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Twenty. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Okay. Um so that's two hundred. I, I think I removed one block too many, but it's it's less than two hundred forty. It's either two hundred. I think it's two hundred thirty here. I think I removed one block too many. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, oh, well, never mind. Uh, it's, it's making me confused. So I'm gonna test this and. All we did now was make this weight less. So if that budget thing is working as intended, this should this should let us um, come here and destroy one block. Uh, nothing's happening. So we can come and get the bulletproof glass block, not the centered one, this one. I'm going to copy the rotation and place it there. Oh, okay. Maybe that was 250 and not 240, so... Yeah, I must have counted something wrong there. But we're going to go back to the editor. Because we fought that block, yeah, I probably was a 250 and not 230. Hmm. Three by five. Three by five, 15, 18 below, 
five times the three. Yeah, I miscounted something here. Um, but without one block, it's stable. Well, without one for the block here, it's stable. So I'm not entirely sure where my count went wrong. Oh, let's actually leave this as concrete. I'm not entirely sure where my count went wrong, but we'll prevail here. And then set fancy as well. Feel this. And feel this. Finally. And finally, we are going to feel from here here right so we have our corridor uh, uh, again and we want of course to have the full corridor supported so let's save this we change these to steel all right so it uh, this side here is supporting 300 we have to subtract 20 so we have 280 and now this guy here can support 280 on this side and 280 on this side for a total of uh, over, over 500. Now, we get back to the problem of um, the next block is concrete. And we now have multiple sides and these blocks meet in the middle. It's getting confused here. Now let's deconfuse this. We have this budget thing. So it started with 600 and then we subtracted the 40 here. We are now down to 560. And, and each block here, this block is can provide up to 300. This block can provide up to 300 for 600. But our budget from the pillar is down to 560. Okay. So I'm not sure if this, uh, yeah, I think this was a little bit too confusing. We have a budget of 600. We're going to count down these blocks here. So let's let's uh, uh, count them like remove them here like okay so these two blocks we counted them each weights 20 20 plus 20 40 and 600 le uh, minus 40 is 560 okay 560 so all the rest should have 560 except it depends on kind on the kind of block you have. Uh, let's say we had a concrete block which weighted 20, right? So we have a budget of 560. Well, this concrete 580, but but this guy here can only send 120 of the 300 of the 290 blocks uh, weight it's it's getting. And the same thing here. So we only have two sides, two concrete sides here. So despite the fact that the budget is 580 with the concrete blocks, um, I have to limit it by what this guy and this guy can provide to the rest, which is 240. Now, <clears throat> we place this. Let's get these blocks again. 
uh, the budget is 560 once you count these two blocks uh, but because they can provide up to 300 less their own mass so 280 all the rest can has this 560 mass available but the next block is concrete so okay get that things get confused again instead of trying to figure out everything here let's just count these three blocks okay i'm going to remove to count them so i'm at 560 550 500 40 530 so our budget is 530 and these blocks are connected only on one side which is their upper side so that's 120 for each for a total of 360 so they had a, a budget 560 uh, 530 once you counted these three blocks but they themselves can only give 360 to the rest so once you counted this the rest needs uh, can only have 360 which is what the concrete blocks are providing to their only connecting site and that's not enough um, so let's consider other alternatives here one problem is that this block is only connecting for one side now let's say i have i do this thing here so i added four blocks i added weight to this our budget now went from we had uh, uh, with these blocks um, 530 minus 40 is down to 490. Our budget is now down to 490. However, these blocks here. Well, let's let's not count the, the let's stay with the 430 budget and add this to the total mass we need to support there so we we, we needed to support um 420 or something like that but now we added four blocks so we are up to 460 so it's it's got getting worse but we added two more sides here and here for four more sides total so now we are giving support uh the three sides at, at the top so we have we are supporting the three sides at the top right uh, this guy here this guy here this guy here just 360 and the two sides on the four lateral sides. Now four is four hundred and four times one twenty is four hundred eighty. So four hundred eighty plus three hundred sixty is more than enough to support everything. Um, on the mass we have with these steel blocks here. It should support 500 and discounting these three blocks, 530. So this structure, like I just add, I added blocks. I added concrete blocks and not pillars. I added concrete blocks to the side. And I believe this now should be able to withstand Uh, to, to have enough structure integrity uh, to survive. And I did that by adding blocks just to add sides I can connect. Here. 
I'll clear this inventory, get this guy here. All right. So can we do this? We can. That's nice. That's ah, it's a trick on creative where you can copy a block into your inventory. I was hoping I was going to be able to do that. I'll place a block there. Yep. There it is. We survived. So I added blocks and it survived. Now, let's be clear here. There is a difference. It's very important that those two blocks on the sides were turned into steel. And they are not connected to the new blocks, right? These blocks are steel. They are not connected to these blocks. But it's essential that these guys are steel because they are providing on their side up to 300. Actually, only 280 because they subtract 20 themselves from the support given by this block. Which means this guy here, it's receiving 280. His budget, mass budget is 280. It subtracts itself 10. So it goes down to 270. And this 270 is what it's using to distribute to all of its other sites, right? So the actual support here is only 570, which is 270 times two. Uh, we have here 120, 240, 360, uh, 480, right? Four sides are being used by this block. So these four sides can support up to 480, but its own budget is 270. So whatever I have on these four sides, that can only go to up to 270. If this guy here was concrete, then the budget received by this guy is now only 120 instead of 280, which means that the four sides will have to share 120. So that's the basic of, of this, right? Uh, that's how you, 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 you have to think about these things, right? So this block here, how much can it distribute among its sides what its budget its mass budget its mass budget is whatever it received from the pillars and all the way there uh, um, limited by what each block in in what's the budget it's it's coming from the sides right now if you have things sharing pillars the easiest way to do it is to simply remove all of them, count the signs they're giving support, and do the budget from there, right? Instead of, oh, how much is this guy here providing support since he's receiving from this guy and this guy, so it's mixed in between, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. No, 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 no. Simplify that, okay? So 300 plus 300, that's 600. Minus 20, minus 20, 560. And then you remove whatever many blocks. So if I had here, like again here, we have uh, one, two. Yeah, we can, we can simply count these blocks here. So this guy here and this guy here have one, two, three, four sides. 480, but the budget is only five uh, for it is only 280. So we count only 280, same for here. 
add it to 560. And we can then ignore these blocks and all the rest, including this block, this block, this block in the middle, this block in the middle, and that block, and all the top, that has to be 560. So you, you keep doing that and uh, don't think of where the support is coming from. Like uh, this guy here is being supported, this guy is being supported by uh, this pillar or this pillar. It, doesn't matter just count the 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 budget uh from each side and and and, and keep cutting it until you, you can get a, um a clear answer for for all the rest now another alternative is to replace all the blocks here okay now, this is all steel. So we have 605 blocks. 5 times 20, which is the weight of the steel. The mass of the steel is 20. So I have 5 blocks times 20 is 100. So the budget is now 500 for the rest. Now, these 5 blocks, which are providing up to 500 for the rest, and I have already counted our mass. They are connected to the rest of this thing by three sides here, right? So uh, each of one of these middle blocks, kind of like here, here, and here, they have one side connected, which is the top side. On each of their sides, they can support 300. The budget is only 500, however, so in theory it supports up to 900. But these 900s are limited by the current budget, which is 500. So all the rest uh, can support only up to 500. Now, there is a question of how the rest is going to distribute. Um, we are going to look into that, particularly if this fails. <laughs> um, because it, it really gets more complicated at this point. But from our basic calculations, Or basic calculations, this is supported. Oop. Here, there. So that works as well. Oh, we're gonna return to the editor one last time, and I'm just going to talk about this last. Um, this last uh, uh, step, which is the blocks above. Okay, let's drop down here. So I have a budget of 500. Uh, this budget is distributed among these three blocks here, which are the ones connected to the uh, steel blocks below. So Let's start with the concrete. So this concrete block, this concrete plate is connected on two sides. So it can provide up to um, 240 mass. Uh, this, this um, bulletproof glass here it's connected on three sides, right? So it's connected to this one, it's connected to this one, and it's connected to this side. Each one is receiving 60, so 180. 180 on this side, plus 180 on this side, that's 360, plus 240 here, that's 560 total, which is more than its own budget of 500. But let's change this slightly. Let's say 
Let's say I grab this. Okay. Let's say I grab this. And I'm again trying to find this stupid arrow. Why does it have to be so hard to get this arrow? Yeah. So let's see here. Okay. We are now looking at the same thing, right? So uh, we had this section here is the next pillar. And we have an identical section on the other side. So one, two, three, four. I didn't change the number of segments. And if I have more pillars, the next one will be right here, uh, like we had in the original example. But I change how this here is working because now instead of having two sides connected here, I have only one, so 120. And this, instead of three, has only two, so 120. And now the total here, instead of 560, which limited by the budget is 500, we have 360. 120 plus 120 plus 120. And 360, I don't believe is enough for the rest. I think it weights more than that. So let's let's come out here and I'm gonna come on update bounds so that's the this new area and we're gonna jump into the play test and mind you in the full structure there's going to be a pillar right after that. And that pillar is going to provide support. So what I did... What I did when I chose what format I was going to use was split the path in the middle between the two sides. Um, because the path is only four, it's four sides, it's an even number, it's easy. So two one on one side, two on the other. But let's say I had five blocks in the middle. Um, what I would do would be place three blocks on each side because that's going to give me something for uh, um, a maximum, uh, uh, um, an extra, right? So three on each side. But you could also place three on one side and two on the other. But if you do that, you're going to make a few other things uh, more complicated because uh, the 120 on this side has to go three, three blocks, whereas the 120 on this side has only to go to two blocks. So uh, it's it's not exactly the same, uh, which is why I would just place three on each side because uh, it, it's a safer computation. And there you go. It fell, and it fell because we are now only sharing one side, and that's just not enough. I find it curious that actually some of it survived. I expected the whole part in the middle to also uh, fall down, but well, the game did not agree with me. So this is a very important point. Do not like take all oh, this pillar and then go all the way just right before the other one. No, use both sides because that's a, a very important difference. And, and that's it, and that's it. That's the, the budget idea. And that we saw how we increased the weight of the structure. So when we turn this into steel, that's more weight. 
when he added blocks, added completely new blocks, not connected to this pillar, but connected here, we added weight and he survived. It's just a matter of what's the budget available on each block. And I hope this helps you guys. And thank you for watching.